all right guys this is it the new boat you guys have been asking to see about it so here we go this is a kingfisher 2022 falcon 2025 got it from camp and cruise in marn michigan check this thing out go through everything and tell you guys in detail about this boat as much as I can in this video but I did a lot of homework the original boat I was going for was the Sea Ark and after doing some homework and checking availability which with the Sea Ark is pretty much none I ran across this boat which I knew nothing about so I decided to do some homework on it And I'm going to tell you a little bit about it now. So the trailer comes with, believe it or not, is a single axle. This boat is 20 feet 6 inches long. And the loaded weight with a full tank of gas, it has a, I believe, 38 gallon tank, is 2,200 pounds. And this is a 3,500 pound axle trailer. At first I was a little nervous about having a single axle trailer with this big of a boat, but uh, I don't plan on doing super long trips with it and at the end of the day the trailer is ready for 3,500 pounds and after pulling it around a little while the short period that I've had it uh, I have no concerns about this trailer whatsoever so I tell you a little bit about the trailer it's an easy loader trailer it's all aluminum which I like no rusting um, it does have like this all-terrain tire deal going on I'm not really sure the purpose of that it kind of looks cool here's a better look at the tires it looks cool but uh i'm not sure of the real purpose so first thing i had outfitted on this trailer was i had this put on which is a river winch it's by 360 marine good luck finding that online uh, i looked all over and i can't find it a little better view of it so it's aluminum river winch uh, i had them add the uh, synthetic rope instead of the cable and in the back of the truck here i'll show you what i'm using on it I have a diamond weight made by Sea Choice 75 pound anchor. So far, so good. It does a great job. It holds me where I want to go. The first thing I want to tell you about the bow, starting at the front of the boat, um, is this is a self bailing bow, which means if you can see, this is all enclosed. The whole bow has a lip all the way around it. And in the event you do take on a wave, it has these holes already built in it right there. And then another one over there and these holes uh, actually exit out the boat right here on both sides so the water if it does go in here it gets trapped in here and then goes directly out these bailing holes the only thing i prevent that if those holes got plugged up which is unlikely and then in the front here we have a live well i'm not going to open it it's just a live well nothing to it it's pretty decent size no lights no no thrills just the live well then the front we have a little anchor caddy if you do want to run an anchor without a winch. And then what's neat is they, they, they thought it through. They put a little cutout right here. I don't know why you can see that for your rope to exit out of. Or if you're going to run cords for a trolling motor up here, you can run that out there. Um, pretty nice. All the cleats on this boat are welded on. Pretty serious duty cleats. Um, kind of overkill. This boat's uh, made in Canada, so it's made for the wilderness so uh, you know everything on this boat is overkill in my opinion which i like because we beat the crap out of our boats the people that use the boats the way they're supposed to be used uh, and, and and put some time on the water with them out in the middle of nowhere sometimes um, it is nice to have a boat that can take a beating so kind of neat is they have the navigation lights on the sides here both sides instead of on the front um, full windshield very sturdy windshield wipers on both sides you have a switch that you can turn one wiper on driver's side or turn both wipers on again another cleat full bimini top comes stock this is a square tube aluminum bimini top it's very solid i've driven it in radar position at pretty fast speeds it holds up well the canvas on it is heavy heavy duty canvas would not sweat that canvas uh, in any weather <coughs> also uh, coming stock is you can fold this canvas up, put the bimini top up, it snaps on across the front here. 
you have an opening at the very front where your walkthrough windshield is so that you can get in and out of the boat through the canvas. It also comes with drop down sides that snap all the way down the sides. And then it also comes with a backdrop, which was really a selling point for me. So starting right about here, across and up, there's a whole drop with a zip up door. So in the winter, for me, when I'm on the river steelhead fishing in the winter, uh, I can now run a heater inside instead of sitting out in the snow and, uh, and then run my baits out the back of the boat. So cool selling feature for me. I did have Trax Techs installed. So this is an upfitting. I had one Trax Tech track put on both sides up here to run my uh, rod holders. Uh, I did upgrade to the nicer rod holders um, for trolling Lake Erie, Lake Michigan or catfishing. Uh, and then I also had small Trax Techs put back here with a little riser, uh, which is loose. So probably wanna keep an eye on that, make sure that doesn't happen while you're out on the water. Um, tighten that down. And, and then I just mounted my uh, Canon uh, rotating downrigger holder. It's kind of nice because I can leave that on a boat, not worry about it, even when I'm catfishing, it doesn't get in the way. Uh, it has LED lights on the trailer. It has a back swim platform uh, with a removable ladder, which is nice to get in and out of the boat. Uh, on top of that, uh, the outrigging on this is very clean. All the cords and everything running um, out of the way, nice looking, nothing to get snagged up. I did get a Garmin 1243 SFV. Um, fish finder installed pretty decent sized transducer for the side imaging and clear view <coughs> this one comes powered with a Merc uh, Pro Access 150 and then I had the 15 horse Merc kicker put on as well uh, for trolling and then I'll talk a little more about that once we get in there there is your fuel fill right there again 38 gallon tank I believe quote me on that And then again, you got your navigation lights on the other side as well as the cleats. So let's get inside the boat and I'll show you what it looks like inside. Okay, on the inside of the boat, this is where uh, really sold me on this boat, starting at the back of the boat. Uh, I love that there's no back deck and I can go right up to the transom and reel my fish in. This is really nice. It's got 32 or 35 inch sides so you feel super safe in this even in the waves i had this out on three footers on lake michigan it was actually my first trip out and uh, i felt super safe in this boat uh, and then it also has storage down here this is just random storage again everything's built i put my planer boards and extra downrigger balls in there it has the wash down ports back down here so when you're washing your deck down it exits the boat I'm not going to open this up, but this is where your batteries are. You can put some more storage in there. And your bilge pump and your auxiliary pumps. Again, more storage. As you can see, everything on this boat is super industrial. I mean, it's like built to last. It's not built to be super sweet, fancy, carpeted. It's built to last. Every weld on this boat is solid. I mean, everything is just done with the idea we want this boat to last forever. It does come down with a wash down hose. I showed this in one of my videos. Super easy if you want to remove that and take it out of your way, you can. Uh, but pretty simple. Rod holders. It has uh, six rod holders, three on each side there and there. Um, nothing real fancy, just simple rod holders. I do kind of wish it had more rod holders, but I'm also not terribly worried about that because the reality of me bringing more than six rods is pretty slim. Looking at the middle of the boat, and I wish this video could show justice of how big this boat is. Everything on this boat is forward. Cockpit's forward, so you got a lot of fishing room back here. See, I have a huge net right here, and I just have this stored on the side. No problem. All right, it has these two bench seats that face each other. They're great for storage. Both sides. And then it has this giant in floor storage which is wet storage i mean so big i don't know if you can see it in there i have two downriggers two drift socks and extra life jackets down there just gigantic storage and i still put more in there these are not the stock seats for those of you who watch my videos these are the seats that are off of uh my other boat that i purchased online at amazon i love these seats they're super comfortable that's why i kept them and that's why i transferred them over i saved the stock seats 
you can't get these with boxes underneath this has a elevating seat so you can slide forward backwards and go up and down just like an office chair pass through side you got your oh shit handle storage glove box is huge you can go all down you can put my whole arm in there it's just gigantic storage you can lose stuff in there it's so big um, down here this is not storage this is an access point same thing over there this however is storage lockable storage which is nice and as you can see i put all my side covers drop covers and i still have plenty of room i got the lithium battery that i had them up it for the uh front winch which i haven't had to charge yet and i've used the heck out of it uh and then one thing i saw in one of these videos that i'll bring up on this video is they really thought things through i mean something as simple as they welded a dam in here if you think well what's the point of this right here well if you put your stuff up here and you take off it doesn't leave and it's just it, it's well thought out smart so they also have two usb ports your 12 volt cigarette lighter port two cup holders uh, the side we'll talk about the cockpit the one thing a lot of people didn't talk about in the videos when i was looking at this boat is the cockpit so i'm going to talk about this just a little bit here so on the cockpit side we have a lot of switches here so this is your navigation lights that's for front and rear just rear then you have your windshield wipers i'm sorry this is your bilge pump not your windshield wipers this is your windshield wipers so you can see this just does this side that side is not going and then if you flip it down it does both sides i have used this it, it does help you have your accessory which you can wire up to whatever you want and then on this switch right here this is your sprayer so i turn that on that powers up my high pressure hose and then on this side is my live well fill so i flip that on and that turns on a live well over here we have this switch was installed to turn on my fish finder it's your horn and then this switch i had installed which is for the anchor up front up down for the anchor this is your smart gauge for those of you guys that know anything about mercury this is a smart gauge you can do all kinds of stuff from that i did have a phone holder installed the same phone holder i use in my in my cars because it charges just putting the phone on there Real simple, I could just plug that right into my cigarette lighter right here and charge my phone while I'm on a boat. And then I also have two USB ports as well, well there. Garmin 12XV, I'm not going to turn this on. I mean, you guys have seen any other videos, I can do another video about it. But it's pointless because there's a lot of people that are a lot smarter than me on this unit. But it's it's awesome. Uh, Garmin 1243XSV, uh, check it out. I did get the Garmin because I want the option to add the panoptics later. I just don't know yet uh, how I'm going to do that or why I'm going to do that, but I probably will add one of those. Down here, I've mounted just on Velcro a holder for the remote. And you're probably wondering what's this remote for since I don't have a trolling motor. Well, the reason I don't have a trolling motor is because I have a Garmin, as you can see right here, Garmin Reactor 40 installed on the kicker motor. So I didn't know anything about Garmin Reactor 40 until the the salesperson at the boat place told me about it. Obviously, I went on YouTube, read a lot of videos. Here's the long and short of it. Uh, if you don't do a lot of spot lock, it, yet you do a lot of trolling, this is what you want. This is the same as a spot lock on an Altera, except it's operating your gas-powered kicker motor. So you don't have to worry about battery life. You're up, down on your throttles. You're left, right on your controls. Um, obviously, you say cruise control. There's all kinds of other options. This thing's so slick, you can operate it with the head unit. Um, there is options to set up patterns where you zigzag. You can do big circles, little circles. They call it a something turn where you go out, round, and then come back, back up the same path. Uh, it's pretty damn amazing what this thing can do. But my favorite part of this is this button right here. So this button, see how well you can see it right there. Um, just like a remote control on a TV, if I want to go left, I simply point to where I want to go and push that button. Uh, and my boat goes that direction uh, pretty amazing there's all kinds of other little uh, tricks with it you know if you're coming up on another boat while you're trolling uh, you push to the right and it temporarily moves you out around the boat and then comes back in on your original trolling path uh, there's all kinds of stuff but since it's a Garmin Reactor 40 everything I can do with the remote I can also do with the head unit 
which means I can also set go to waypoints uh, on the head unit and my kicker motor will take me to that waypoint. So pretty expensive outfit, but I will tell you that is, I think, well worth the money. We have dual controls. You have a control for your 150, the control for your 15 horsepower kicker. And what else am I missing here, guys? That's pretty much it. I mean, there's not really a whole lot to this boat, uh, but it's just an awesome, durable fishing boat that I can use, abuse, clean it out when I'm done, and not worry about all the issues I had with my other boat. I loved my other boat, but it was time to upgrade to something that can handle a little more of what I do. This is something I added. Me and the boys welded this up. Uh, this aluminum frame coming stock you don't have anything under there it's all kind of wide open so we added this uh, really simple it's just a cutting board on top of a little tool chest that's on roller bearings on the drawers um, i saw this on some south african and australian fishing videos they call this a rigging station um, and i tell you what they're like three grand to buy and i thought you know what I don't know anything that fancy. I could just build one. And uh, so basically, I just took a cutting board, screwed it to the top. Take your tools, heat them up with a torch, and they melt right into your cutting board and make perfect slots for your tools. And then you can even put your, you know, your snips on here and then so on and so forth for all that good stuff. So that's it. You guys asked about it. There it is. So hope you enjoyed. And uh, also... Shout out to Josh at Pig Patrol. I uh, got some of your gear. Um, it's a good good show. If you haven't watched that, check out Pig, and, Pig Patrol. It's Josh. He, he, he's kind of like us. He does fishing like us. And then his buddy Ty, who does Ty Pig Patrol. And also, we got some river certified stuff. So check out Spencer out of Iowa. He does river certified. Also, kind of in line with you guys that like my videos, you'll like their videos. So if you got a chance to check them out. Ugh too old for that and that's that guys so there it is the kingfisher 2025 should be able to take that trolling lake erie lake michigan and on the river drafts really well for those of you who are wondering that was a big fear of mine uh this boat drafts really really shallow so that you can see the water line right here this is where i was running on the river and so we're running about i would say probably a 16 inch draft in the water which is more than plenty for where we run on the river so hope you enjoyed it i'll uh, edit this video up put it online and check it out and thanks again for watching and i appreciate all your support as always